Newly trained nursing and pharmacy assistants have graduated in Lethem Region 9 after completing a rigorous theoretical and practical training program. Some 27 pharmacy and 31 nursing assistants graduated and will soon be posted to the various health centers across the region. During the ceremony, Health Minister Dr. Frank Antony highlighted the importance of empathy in health care. He urged the newly minted healthcare workers to understand that they cannot work in health if they do not care about the patients who come to them. If we have people in the system, when the patients come and you don't have any empathy, you don't care, then we'll have a problem. And that's one of the things that we want people to understand. That you can't work in health if we are going to have people who don't care about the patients who come to us. Pharmacy assistants were also advised to always ensure the health facilities have medication since significant investments are being made to procure them. Dr. Anthony also charged those in the nursing profession to elevate themselves in the health field as they have taken the first step. Meanwhile, Regional Health Officer Dr. Serdel Makwat emphasized that healthcare services are being decentralized as part of the government's initiative to provide better services in outlying regions. Health services, we said across five sub-districts, there are 60 facilities within Region 9. Sometimes when I talk to my other colleagues, other RHOs, they're saying, whoa, you got a lot of facilities. But then we got to understand that Region 9 is one of the largest regions in terms of geographic proportion, and we have to ensure that the services meet the needs of the people and in their community. Now, the aspect of it, we're also looking at not just primary health care, but we want to have tertiary health care services that are in par with the needs of the people. And as we speak, in the sub-district of the North Anai, Karasabai, Sand Creek, and even at the Shalton, there is tremendous work that is going on there. We are constructing district hospitals, or those level two, are now being upgraded to level three. And when we say upgraded to level three, we're not just putting it on paper to say, here we have a level three facility, but there is active construction of operating theaters. There is active construction of having imaging services there, x-ray, ultrasound, inpatient, we have an HSDU and the emergency services. We'll complement that to ensure that these services are not only being provided, but we will ensure that the skilled personnel, and this is a testimony, and another promise being fulfilled. Also attending the ceremony were the regional chairman, Brian Alicock, and managers of the training programs.